How's it going, everybody? Blue Cat Kobe here. I know a bunch of y'all that are sub subscribed to the channel are probably thinking, hey, look, he's finally posting a video. A lot of stuff has happened since the last video has been posted. A lot of life changes, uh, stuff like that. Uh, for the most part, a lot of people ask me, hey, did you quit uh, videotaping because you wasn't making no money on YouTube? What's the question? Or the answer to that question is no. The main reason I am videotaping for YouTube or anything like that is basically most people will use a book for a journal. I use YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff like that. So uh, whenever I get old, crippled, can't do any of the stuff I do anymore, I want to go back and watch those videos of the stuff that me and my best friends and my brother-in-law and all of us have done in the fishing, hunting, and stuff like that. But besides getting into what has been happening in my life why i haven't been posting videos which i will probably answer all that stuff in a later video uh i've still continued to fish and hunt almost every day that stuff has not evaded me but with the job that i am in right now it is hard for me to make a planned trip to go fishing or hunting so it's kind of just i carry the stuff with me and when i get the chance i go Anyways, with that being said, today, as you can tell by the camo and all the stuff in the back seat, and my brother-in-law, we are out here about to do some dove hunting. It is dove season here in Oklahoma. We've been four, five, six times, seven times. We've been quite a bit. The dove have not been flying great yet. We're still pushing 95. Right now, it's 96 degrees outside. Uh, the dove aren't flying like they need to be. The places we hunt, the farmers haven't really been out and plowed their fields, stuff like that. So there's a lot of factors why we aren't seeing the numbers that we're used to seeing, but we're still coming out with two, three dove per hunt. And today, hopefully we get out there and I can get y'all on some dove hunting. Uh, the main reason I'm videotaping today is kind of giving y'all a little heads up, letting y'all know that I'm still alive. And I'm gonna kind of just show y'all how we set the decoys up. I'm gonna show y'all uh, what we do, how we hunt, and kind of give y'all some pointers like that right there. And I want to apologize that I'm looking, like right now, I'm not looking at the camera because I'm using my phone. I'm not using my GoPro, so I'm trying to figure out, you know, I got to look at the camera. I can't look at the phone. I got to look at the camera. Not the phone. But uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and wrap up this intro and get out there and see if we can kill us some dove. Here to the field. This is where we set up right down there where them cows are. We got a little pond down here the fence line and uh, we set our decoys up on the pond and that's where we light them up that's the game changer right there I just mixed the action because I was over here putting some decoys up. But old John just folded one at 30 yards. Folded. Yep, found him. Folded him like a taco. I don't know if people can see that. And that right there is what we come for. Beautiful little doves. We got another one coming in right now. Hopefully I can get a shot. Oh, dude, he's going to decoy perfect. He's decoying. Oh, y'all folded him up on the other side of the fence. Folded him up. I need to put this camera down and start hunting. That makes two of them right there. We've been here 10 minutes. Got two doves. They got two doves. I've been too worried about the old videotaping. It's a little bit windy out here, which is in our favor. We got a southeast wind, more south than it is southeast. And these doves are coming from the north and they're just gliding in here perfect. So that makes two dove in 10 minutes. Let's see what we got going for us today. Give a little update real quick and uh, apologize for not looking at the camera too much. I gotta keep my eyes on a swivel. But uh, we have a bunch of dove flying right now. Still pretty early, we still got an hour and a half until the uh, sunset official shooting light ends. But uh, two guys with me, old John and Hayden, they walking up to the fence line right now. So we can see about six or seven up on the fence line. 
and they're gonna go up there and see if they can get them to spook down my way. And other than that, you know, we've got three right off the bat. Uh, they flew real good when we first got here. And it's usually the spot we're hunting, they like to fly real good when we first get here. And then we get, you know, just a couple stragglers here and there. So I just figured I'd give a little update on how the hunting is going. Right now it's slow and it's hot. 97 degrees with a little bit of a breeze and long sleeve shirts. It's always fun. But, uh, speak of the devil, I got two right behind me. They spooked two of them off and they flew about 50 yards behind me. Nothing I could have done about that one. Uh, the decoy spread actually helps a whole lot more than a lot of people give it credit for. Uh, we've been hunting here for a while. And when we don't use decoys, we have them flying all around us. We just can't really get most of them close enough to us. And the ones we do, of course, we shoot. But it seems like ever since we've started putting decoys out, these dove get within 10, 15 yards from us. Besides those two that just flew by. So we don't talk about that. But uh, for the most part, let's see if we can get some more dove. I got a dove coming in right now. That dove was just a little bit too far out, and this tree right here got in my way. So, that kind of sucks. As we're sitting there talking, they come over to the barn. I busted my way up there, and as you see the ripples in the water, he landed over by that propane tank. So now I gotta climb all this high fence, walk around the pond, and go get that dove. As I was walking over to retrieve the dove out of the pond, uh, of course, he ain't got no head. Another one flew over. I was able to get him, but if you look right behind me, my other dove is out there in the water. Good thing I wore shorts and Crocs today, because now I gotta go in and get them. It's gonna be fun. Let's Little update, stuff got real crazy on us. We, uh, them two went up the fence line and I went across the pond. That way we could try to retrieve my dove that was in the water like you seen a while ago. And dove started just flying out of nowhere. I mean, we had groups of three or four come in. That ain't a dove. Anyways, we had groups of three or four come in and uh, it just got real crazy. I just missed a dove at 10 yards. I'm not very happy about it, but, uh, We've only got six minutes of shooting light left. And we've got a total of five dove. So, wasn't a complete failure, but if we'd have got everything we shot at today, that's the, you know, everybody says that. If we got everything we shot at today, we'd have had a, quite a few dove. Four minutes of shooting light left, and they we had a group two come in. We got one of the two. We all ran out of shells. I mean, I think when they hit the skeet shooting range, but uh, they make six dove. We all got two apiece right now, so that's not too shabby. Well, there it is. We have one minute of shooting light left. Six dove, missed a few. It's been a fun day so far. I mean, it's been the best day of the season so far, and uh been good weather i mean now that the sun's going down it's actually pretty cool outside so my alarm's set to go off in one minute and when it goes off we are done hopefully we got a couple more come in before then well there it is officially the end of shooting light for us and uh had a pretty good first day or i say first day pretty good first few days of dove season when it was six today could have had a lot more so now it's time to pick up all the decoys and I get to cleaning some dove. Well, thank you guys for tuning in to today's video. I know it's been a long time since I have posted the video. So I just figured today I'd come out and get a little video of us doing some dove hunting. 
it didn't end too bad like i said you know we got six of them could have had some more that's just how it goes out there the dove are the hardest easiest shooting bird there is uh call them skyrockets you know you shoot them they look like you hit them they start planting down then they get up again so uh but for the most part thank you guys for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it if you give it a thumbs down and you're anti-hunting go ahead and just find yourself to get off my page I don't, i'm not about that life this is a lifestyle right here but uh don't forget to hit the subscribe button you know if you want to see some more videos coming up so now i have a verdict i mean i'm gonna post a lot of videos i'm getting back into it got a lot of trout season coming up about to go do some smallmouth fishing deer season dove season duck season anyways thank you guys for watching today's video and i will catch y'all in the next one